we think it's uh, V for victory day for us. Veteran Cliff Chatterton says the battle was one of respect. Sparked by this panel in the Bomber Command exhibit at the Canadian War Museum. The text says 600,000 German civilians were killed in the bombings and that the value, morality and effectiveness of the campaign remains bitterly contested. The tone was that this shouldn't have been done, it was bad. Veterans groups say the panel portrays them as war criminals targeting civilians. For two years, the War Museum steadfastly refused to change the text panel until now. Critics say the decision is a political one, with the museum bending to special interest groups. A Senate report came out earlier this year, suggesting the tone of the panel could be changed. Soon after that, the War Museum CEO, Joe Gertz, left his position without explanation. We decided that really we needed to find a way to revise this one particular text panel in a manner that it didn't somehow inadvertently cast the air crew veterans of the country in a negative light. This historian says the museum should have stood its ground in this dispute. It's not the job of the museum or any educational institution to provide comfort to people. Okay. It's to tell the story, it's to tell it accurately. Further, this professor says the debate really has to do with the intent of the bombing raids, and that responsibility rests with the military strategists of the time, not the soldiers in the cockpit. The young men who flew those missions were not going out there with the idea that their job was to kill as many civilians as possible. The text on the panel will likely be changed by October. The museum says it will have the final say, but that it will consult with veterans groups. In Ottawa, I'm Beatrice Politi, City News International.